Ready for episode two? I am. Please be advised that there are spoilers ahead related to the property being watched and or discussed in this video. And please note this reaction does not contain a picture-in-picture -picture view with the audio from the episode. Instead, this video is designed as a watch-along style. Click on the link displayed on your screen to find out about three easy ways to watch this episode with me using your own devices. Bonjour! Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Asha Media TV. My name is Asha. For those of you that are new here, welcome, welcome. This is where I like to watch and react and review a variety of stuff related to science fiction, fantasy, and comic books. So in today's video, I am going to be watching episode two of Apple TV's Foundation, and it's titled Preparing to Live. So it's been about uh, eight and a half minutes or so since I finished watching episode one. I am on a binge here for this series. I'm watching episode one, two, and three, but it's being uploaded to YouTube for your viewing pleasure, you know, one day at a time. So Presuming you've watched my reaction to episode one yesterday when I put it up on YouTube, this is now your opportunity to watch along with me as I watch episode two. So if you're ready to count down to play, let's get going. If not, of course, feel free to skip on over to the review slash takeaways portion of this video, and I'll see you then. But I'm off to watch episode two, so here I go. Okay, are you ready to count down? And press play. Let's go, let's go. All right, starting at three, two, one, play. Hang on. Oh, here's a previously on. All right. So giving you a heads up, I'll be watching the previously on because with my short term memory, <laughs> It's actually useful. Mm -hmm. See, what I was thinking about the first episode was that... Actually, you know what? I'll let the intro play, but I think I'll skip the intro, though, part uh, as of episode three, okay? just so, Actually, this is a good time for me to kind of just babble some stuff to you. Um... So I was thinking back a little bit during my break in between uh, about the fact that Harry, he suspected or planned-ish a bunch of stuff, right, from the very beginning that I wonder if he was involved in the, in the attack on Trantor. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he kind of told the right groups of people who he knew wouldn't take too kindly to the news of the Empire. Or not take too kindly, but they would want to show their their defiance of the Empire, just as now it's public that it likely may fall in five centuries, you know? So I wonder if he, uh, he kind of sprinkled the seeds around, you know? That's what I'm wondering. So essentially, you know, he's kind of accountable for what happened. Anyway, <laughs> after watching episode three, I am definitely going to be binge watching a bunch of breakdown videos and stuff. Non-spoiler and spoiler. I'm totally fine with spoiling myself for this show. Totally fine with it. If it affects you how I watch my reactions, I'm sorry. But at the same time, it's like, I want a different experience than what I had with uh, The Expanse. And at the end of the day, it's all about how they execute it on screen anyway. They may not even follow anything in the books to uh, to the T, right? L to the letter. So, I don't think it makes much of a difference what I know from the source material. All right. We got a point for action. Uh 
Oh, girl. She did. This lady again, okay. She nodded. Okay. Oh, that's gangster. <laughs> So nobody's talking. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Burning bodies raining down on their atmosphere. That looks bad, like in terms of PR, you know? <laughs> hmm. Hmm, that too. Mm hmm. Gotta use the media. Hmm. That's what I said in the last episode. They should have not made that hearing public. But obviously that's probably their judicial structure and all that shit. And all that stuff. In general, I don't like dark tones because I'm kind of used to it with shows that I watch nowadays. Sometimes I feel like you want to kind of stand out too visually from all the other rest. Like there's so many similarities to this and the expanse in terms of visual aesthetics, you know? But I'm just like, can't they not try to distinguish themselves out a bit more? Make the colors more brighter, more vivid. Eh. Don't mind me. Just watching her swim. Oh. Are these two, uh, bumping and thumping? She's all touchy. Yeah. It's a nice pool. I'm sorry. Don't want you to drown. Okay. 
Okay, so they have a love story that's hopefully going to be relevant to the narrative as a whole. Okay. Oh. So, what do you have for lunch? <laughs> when it comes to... Okay, good, thank God. Because I was like, I, I can't stand love scenes in my stuff. I, they're awkward to watch and react to. So how much time has passed? I think I missed that. Fifty-four more months, okay. Wow, it's almost five years. I missed how much time has passed since we last saw them in the first episode. So I'll have to go double check that after. It's probably not important anyway. She's going to sense some danger. So I got to get used to this every episode. She senses stuff and why she senses it is a mystery. Oh, that's danger. All right. Why is that? Uh, oh, that was a simulation. That was good. Reminds me of Star Trek. It's not very helpful or encouraging. Train, train all you want, but when you're in the real world of things, it's a whole nother story. But at least it sharpens their instincts, hopefully. I'm assuming that's part of the point. Robot sympathize. Yeah, that's true. Sympathizer for every cause.
are those numbers stable? May go up at some point, go down, depending. Hmm. Foundation budget. <laughs> There's always administrative shit you gotta deal with, huh? <laughs> And math is definitely not my strong point. Mm -mm -mm. This guy's not wearing his headgear. Always oh, one of their people. <laughs> ah, at least he's trying to two weeks okay Oh, her eyes are purple. Okay. I thought they were blue. <laughs> power! This guy's got power! Wow, and he's exercising it all right. Hmm. <sighs> He's going to try to make an example out of them. So two tribes or two groups of people that hate each other. Each of them had their own man be a part of the whole uh, explosion, right? That's what I, I think I've understood. <laughs> Brother Dust is painting. He's doing something. Oh, that's so neat. That's cool. I'm telling you, even if the story of this whole foundation is not that appealing to me, I'll watch it just because it's visually very entertaining. These murals and the detail reminds me of uh, ancient Egyptians. Oh. 
Oh. Watch your step, butter. <laughs> I almost wanted to be like, I'm getting too old for this shit. He's feeling his age. What's their lifespan genetically? Since uh, this is an active cloning thing, right? Is there a specific time frame to which Dusk dies? You know? Again, rhetorical questions, but there's no need for you to answer them. I'll eventually see the answers at some point. Cyber. Is she preggers? Okay, I'm I, not sure what I saw. So, she's pregnant? And she... Okay, I'm going to have to see again. Let me just watch it. Pause. So, I'm at 2127. And I'm going to go back. Uh, let's see where I need to go back. I'm just going to move this dial backwards and see where it goes. Hopefully, it doesn't go too far. Okay, yeah, right at the beginning sounds about right of this scene. Okay, so I'm at 2001. And was she extracting the zygote from her body? Huh, okay, let's start from there then. Counting down to play. Three, two, one, play. So that, okay, not sure what that is. I'll have to look it up after. So she, she put it in that. All right, just my guesses of what I think this means. Like, she extracted the zygote. Is it, or are babies not uh, carried in the womb? Are they artificially incubated or something? Or okay, those are just questions I'm asking myself, you know. And then I'll eventually find out in a breakdown video after I watch episode three. And you're welcome, of course, to uh, describe it as the book describes this process. Well, that's the, the doctor was referring to this lady.
Hmm. Hmm. Do you expect hair to lie to them? It's interesting. Hence the title. Oh. Interesting. So it is a form of art, like artificial uh, incubation. Or is it a preservation? Huh. I'm looking forward to finding out. Well, definitely a lot of points to this show for their attempt at world building. The only thing is, I find that, like I said before, and I apologize for being redundant, the style is so similar from one shot to the other to some degree that I'm not even sure. Like, I can't see a con, a vis really visible or obvious contrast between one planet versus another. And I'm sure some of it is my own lack of really paying attention to every detail, which is not the easiest thing to do on your first watch. So he's there to see this guy. This guy's going to be like their uh, fortune teller of the show. <laughs> I want one of those. <laughs> Well, it makes sense he would have something like that. Is that so? Oh, she just got hit. Yo. Oh, okay. Okay, so Gail's not a seer. The sleeper is the one that sees things and they like translate for the sleeper person or entity. <laughs> huh. 
When will the sleeper awaken? <laughs> uh, a lot of moments to quote some Dune references here. She's injured, eh? Duh. That's not blood. It. She an android? <sighs> that would make sense, especially the way she talks. Okay. Interesting. See, trying to figure out here. He's trying to have an idea of what's likely to happen next, like in the nearer future rather than five centuries later. At least he keeps his uh, quarters quite clean. I can only presume that they keep repeating this action of her counting out primes. Perhaps it's going to have a significance for what she ends up figuring out. At some point in this season. Quite presumptuous. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, so she's afraid of something with him. their relationship uh, yeah but he may be old but he's not you know dumb I'm sure he figures something out between these two So it's an incomplete equation altogether? And yet with what they have, he's able to predict that much? Okay. Ha, ha, ha. 
Good question. I can't even wrap my head around 40 trillion people. This guy's hairstyle is interesting. <laughs> or is... It's like crimped. What is for gun? Hmm. They got you there. That's an interesting question, though. Like, the picking and choosing of what to preserve. Especially if they're counting on a whole new civilization. Oh, wow. So this woman is an android. Little boy's watching. Oh! Show me more, show me more. So, how many of them are androids? If I'm not using the right term, forgive me, you know, I'm just saying basically it's a, it's a robot, it's human looks. Nice. So how much damage uh, can this, can she take? Hmm. She could have done. Uh, yeah, very big difference. Hmm. <laughs> Fascinating! Yo, I want to know more about her. So she's like the last of her kind kind of thing? <laughs> Talking to themselves like it's just another version of himself. It's so weird. It's so cool though.
Ooh. So there's going to be a quarrel between these two? And it's interesting because if there's like treachery and secrets between each clone, that in itself is its own drama, you know? <laughs> uh, I hope they do elaborate on that just for entertainment purposes. Hmm. Set up to take them all down, probably. Okay, so what's the goal of the threats here? He thinks they're just going to give up more information? One of you, okay. But you won't. <laughs> Especially if you know for PR purposes they got to they got to throw the blame on someone they got to show some visible persecution of the enemy mm. Laundry service Just a question to ask out of nowhere. Huh. Ah. Good memory.
That's very encouraging. You certainly don't want any of them falling into despair. Especially if they're cleaning your clothes. At least he's being a good leader. Can't even walk on snow. I could teach you. Is that special wine that won't affect the fetus? What are they eating? Show me the food again. Looks like ice cream, that pink stuff. Okay. That's an odd way to sh to tell me about this character of information between these two. That's silly. Do you understand what I mean? Like, if you want to tell me more about his background, why would they have the... Okay. Anyway, I, I didn't like how they executed that. That was weird. Didn't make any sense. He's supposed to be a father figure, and that's information. Yeah, that's just, you know, an argument we have at the table in front of people for TV show purposes. Miranda, what? So at this moment, I'm confused as to Raish's purpose as a, is he just like the, kind of the mediator between, between uh, Harry and um, Gal, Gail?
Okay, dude's crying right now. And he doesn't look very happy. <laughs> Honey, can't you not see this man's in distress? Bringing this up. Great. Every woman wants to hear that. Except me. That would scare me if a man told me that. Oh my gosh. I want one of those. <laughs> I need a simulation like that for my room. This would be a perfect time for Harry to walk in on them and he's like, what? This is forbidden. Apparently not. <laughs> For real, you are. I hope they show a bit more dimensional personality with uh, with Mr. Day there, Pace, Lee Pace's character, because I feel like Dusk, they've done a decent job of showing some different variations of his character, to some degree anyway, for a second episode. The little boy, it's fine, but I don't know, it's like I feel like his... Uh, Day's uh, character is a bit one-noted, very just like, I have power, listen to me. <laughs> I don't know. So it's a public execution. Yeah. That seemed inevitable.
What am I looking at here? It's a, okay, I'm not sure what that was. Is he destroying their, their home planets or something or? Like, is this, you know, like the Death Star kind of thing? <laughs> oh my God, is it really? Shit. So he's like wiping them out? Huh. It's a bit extreme though, don't you think? Like it's one thing to kill them, but their their home. Nah. Okay, so it's okay. It's just an attack on their people. But not like I thought I'm gonna blow up the planet, you know? <laughs> so I was like, this is getting very Star Warsy. <laughs> Thanks, that's comforting. How long has she been there? Uh, we always do. In mass, who's watching her swim now? <laughs> Every time we see her swimming, somebody's watching her. What is she sensing now? I'm telling you, this is like literally the episode, right? We wait for her to send something and then we see what it is and it's something surprising and shocking and whatever. Rish. Oh, that's how you spell Rish. Something happened to him? Oh. Oh my god. 
Dude is stabbing him. You can't be... Uh, what did he just take? His behavior is a bit odd. What was that? Okay, the way that was acted out, it's as if she interrupted something. So the knife is in there with her. What the hell? You know what I'm thinking right now? Because the, the way they acted that. It seemed as if, like, the way he was stabbing a uh, hairy guy. If you've seen the movie Knives Out, that's all I'll say. That's what that moment reminded me of, and I'm wondering if that's what it is. Hmm. Because it seemed quite suspicious for someone who's, like, in the middle of stabbing someone who's their father-like figure, and then he's like, oh, you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> like, duh. Oh, so it's like a bigger plan or something here that poor Gail doesn't know about. So where did he send her? I'm definitely gonna have to watch a breakdown video for this. I think I'm gonna watch it before watching episode three because my confusion level, I think it's a little too high for me to now dive into a whole new episode and be like even more confused. Maybe I should actually understand what happened in the first two episodes, right? I think it's only fair, so that's likely what I'll do. Okay, we are stopping. Stopping the show. <laughs> okay. So, make sure I'm kind of centered here. All right, second episode, lots of moving, lots of moving stuff, lots of stuff. Um, so let me stick with my formula here to kind of keep things consistent and easier for me to relate my um, thoughts, initial thoughts, obviously, for my first time watch of this episode. So let's start with some key takeaways. Um, okay, this was quite an interesting way to end the episode, you know. We find uh, Raish stabbing Harry, who's like a father to him. And um, Gail walks in on him, but she had a feeling something was wrong, which I'll touch on in just a moment. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that's memorable to carry me forward to want to watch episode three and see what that was all about. I, I'm thinking that perhaps that wasn't what it seemed, that likely Raish and Harry planned to kill Harry. Okay, for whatever purposes related to the foundation. Because it seemed as if, like, she walked in on something that they had to plan for the greater good of some other purpose. So, really, Raish didn't, you know, wasn't killing his father in some passionate thing or, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a, a, a passion kill, you know what I mean? I really think it was something probably planned between him and Harry, and Harry's death is going to have some meaning for whatever plans perhaps Raish and Harry had. That's the best way I can articulate it. I apologize if it's still a little bit jumbled, okay? So yeah, 
Harry's death or supposed murder is a, a key takeaway from this episode. The second takeaway, of course, is those two people <laughs> that were pretty much uh, held captive by the Empire and are suspected to be involved with the attack on Trantor. And so if you watched my reaction, I was a bit taken aback at the fact that it seemed very much like Star Wars in a sense, where they looked like as if they were going to destroy the home planet of these two respective people, but essentially it seemed like they just attacked the planet in order to kind of, I guess, balance out the, um, the damage done to Trantor kind of thing. In any case, what's very memorable for me in that scenario is Brother Day's bloodlust, it seems, uh, that he was experiencing in the moment. He seemed to enjoy having to take that action and make that decision. Which leads me to my third takeaway, and that is the reveal of Demerzel being a robot, an android. All the synonyms for that, okay? <laughs> I don't know what the proper term is in relation to this book series um, or to this entire narrative, okay? But I'm going to say android for now. And hopefully that's accurate enough. And um, yes, she's not human. And I'm wondering, you know, how long has she been there? Because she said she's been there for a while. And it seems as if perhaps she's seen many clones because she says at the end there um, of the executions that it's a decision they always make. And so I'm thinking that if she's telling young Dawn that information... Perhaps this Dawn character, that young version there, is going to represent um, a version of uh, the, that character. Sorry, I apologize. I don't remember the name of these characters here. Um, I guess when he becomes Brother Day, you know, maybe he won't make that decision. Then again, maybe that's always the hope that Dawn has. Like, I guess what I'm trying to get at is if... Demerzel has been seeing so many versions of these clones from their dawn status to their day status to their dusk status. I wonder if she is pretty much computing, or computing, but she is assessing that they'll likely have the same reaction at the same stages they're at. Does that make sense? Point is, though, she has a lot of intel as to how each stage of these empire, um, what, what are their official names here? Because I, I, I don't know what to give it. They, they have it just as Brother Day, Dawn, and Dusk. And I, so I'll have to go and find that out before I watch episode three. Because at first I was just going to binge watch all three episodes. And then I'm like, okay, then I'll, you know, read up on some stuff about them, you know, get a breakdown. But I kind of now don't want to go into episode three without understanding episodes one and two, to be really honest with you. <laughs> I think it's only fair, especially for my own view and experience. So, for now then, there you have it. That is my reaction and my key takeaways from episode two. I'm going to watch a couple of breakdown videos from two of my favorite channels, Quinn's Ideas and Pete Peppers. So... Feel free to check out the links in the description box below to those videos that I'm going to watch right now so you have an idea of where I'm getting some of my point of reference. Thanks very much for watching. I look forward to reading your comments about this episode. And as I've said previously, and I'll always be redundant about this, I am welcoming of book spoilers related specifically to this episode, okay? Please keep it relevant to this episode. I really would appreciate that. Thanks again for watching. I'm Asha, tuning out. Until episode three, people. Bye. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe. You know you wanna.